Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of one step, one variable equations and inequalities, how we can write those. This is standard 6.9a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 10 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Mr. Smith, and he's got a problem for us here. He wants to spend a maximum. That is going to be very important for us. The most money that he wants to spend is 50 bucks, so 50 bucks or less. But he can spend 50. That's going to be important as well. So a ticket is going to cost 7 bucks. Then he can spend P dollars to buy other things in the museum, which inequality can be used to find the possible values for P. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and take that $50 and take away the 7 So let's just see how much money he actually has. So he's got 50 bucks total. He knows that he's going to have to get rid of 7 just to get into the museum. So that's going to leave him with 43 So P might equal 43 maximum, and it could be less. And so how do we write that as an inequality? Well, obviously we, we don't have 43 anywhere, but we do have this minus 7, right? So we do have 7 all over the place. So let's see if we can write this as, how about this? 50 minus 7. And then we've got this P, right? So then we can do 50, we can do some back families here. And so that's going to get us our max right there, is we can take away that 7, and that's going to give us that 43. But how do we get this P and this 7 on the same side? Back families is not going to work for us. What we can do is we can go ahead and just add P. Take a look at this right here. I want to add P to both sides. 50 minus P equals 7. So you can add something to both sides. And it's still going to keep your equation balanced because look what's going to happen. 50 minus P plus P. That gets rid of that. So now we've got a 7 plus P. So 50, 7 plus so now we're starting to look a little bit closer. Take a look. We can cross out F and G. And that makes sense, right? Because we want to add this P is his extra money. So his extra money, right, plus the $7 to get in is going to be no more than 50. But you notice we don't have any equal signs. We have inequalities. We've got greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So we're not going to use this equal sign right here. That's where this comes back in, right here. So the maximum that he is going to spend at the museum is $50. So that means everything else has got to be less than that. So take a look at this right here. This says P plus 7 and J. I'll write it right here for us. It's got to be less than or equal to 50. So you can be less than 50. You can be equal to 50. You just can't be more than 50. So that's what J is saying. H is saying the opposite. You take your P, you add the 7, and now you're going to get more than 50. Well, no, that's not going to work. He's got a maximum of 50 bucks. He can't spend more than that. This says greater than or equal to 50. So no, my answer is going to be this J right here, because this P, remember, that can be 43. So 43 plus 7 is less than or equal to 50. That's going to work, because remember, 43 is all the rest of the money he has to buy on souvenirs and at the gift shop. He can spend less if he wants to. He just cannot spend more, but he can spend equal, and that's where we get this J. P plus 7 is less than or equal to 50. 